All right, so you've got your TCC AGG. You did that yesterday. You figured out what all the matching RNA is for your spider goat. The next step is to use your codon wheel that we just learned about today in notes to figure out what that mRNA is going to code for on our amino acids. And then based on those amino acids, we can look at this chart and figure out what they look like. So I'm gonna do my sample here. So I've got AGG as my first codon. So I go to my codon wheel. AGG makes arginine, which I abbreviate with the letter R. Then my next one is CCC, back to my codon wheel. CCC leads to proline. P. Next one, AUA. AUA gives me isoleucine. And you keep the process going. CAA gives me glutamine, which is that little Q abbreviation there. And then UAA, UAA leads to a stop codon. So now that I know those, I look at my little chart over here. So my first codon, first column, I'm given the codon that translates to R. So I look over here, R is worth $5 and it gives me normal spider silk for that first codon. So my silk is normal and it's worth five bucks. My next one is proline. So I look at my second column over here, find proline, there it is. It's worth zero dollars because we have no horns. Next one is hair over here and I made isoleucine. So go to codon three. Isoleucine makes white with brown. And these are patches like a cow. And that gives me $20. The next one is this Q. So I go to code on four, look for Q, L, T, I, H. It's not one of those, so it must be one of these others. So it says all others create a mutation that gives us a weak immune system. So I write in weak immune system and that is worth negative $5. Pay attention to those negatives, otherwise you're going to mess up your math. The last one here, UAA gave me, oops, sorry, I want that over. UAA gave me a stop codon. So if I look in this last column here, a stop codon is worth zero dollars because it just acts like a normal goat. No superpowers, nothing super about them at all. So I would add this together. Five plus 20 is 25 minus five. My goat is only worth $20. So then what you would do is you would take those traits, normal, no horns, brown, white patches, weak immune system, acts like normal, and you would draw that out on your goat sheet. So if mine has no horns, I don't have to draw anything there. If he has completely normal spider silk, maybe I would draw a bucket like so. That's a crappy bucket, and it's just got like a spider web on it. Completely normal spider silk milk. Nothing weird about that. That is a crappy spider web. Oh well. So that is my completely normal spider silk milk. And then the next trait that I have to draw is brown and white, I'm sorry, white with brown patches. I don't have a brown coloring pencil, but some brown patches on my spidey goat. Maybe he's got one up here as well. And then the next thing is that he has a weak immune system. Well, how in the world are you supposed to show a weak immune system? Maybe you would show that his eyes are all red and puffy He's got a red nose and he's got some drippy boogers because he's always got a cold and maybe you put a box of tissues next to him. Um, forgive my crappy drawing. So there's his box of tissues. I'm gonna call those puffs tissues, those are the best. Um, so he's got a box of tissues, he's got a weak immune system and maybe he's coughing. So you write cough just like a comic book would, okay? Cough, cough, because he's a little sick. He's got a weak immune system. And then if he just acts like a normal goat, um, maybe you just put a little speech bubble. Dude, I'm so normal. Cool, that's showing all the traits of the goat that you would need to show. 
And most of you are not gonna have such a plain goat. Usually there's gonna be a lot more to show on your goat. This would go on your poster. Now the last thing that had to be shown on your poster is if something is strange about your goat, if he has a negative trait. So for example, our goat had a negative trait here. It cost us money because he had a weak immune system. But over here, if you look, there's a lot of other things that are worth a lot of money. So all I have to do is change this CAA, which gave us this bad trait, to something that gives us something better. So let's say, for example, I want this $50 trait instead, extra strong and healthy. I need to make leucine. I had CAA that gave me glutamine. I want to make leucine. So let's see if I can fix that. So CAA gave me glutamine. But if I had CUA, then I would have leucine, that L, and he'd be worth $50. So on your poster, what you would write is, for this weak immune system stuff here, you would write change CAA, which led to glutamine, to CUA, which leads to lysine, to make healthy and that is worth $50. And that's just advertising to people that, hey, this goat is still savable, we just have to change one letter, and then he's completely healthy and worth a lot more money. So I hope that helps you guys. Uh, work on your posters today. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. I'll be at home with my kiddo, but I can definitely help you.